The deli is a cornerstone in tradition and community. Serving up a lot more than just a sandwich, it's like nostalgia wrapped up in wax paper and tossed across a counter of culture. They're communal hubs where people gather, connect, create, and celebrate. Where you share more than a meal, you share each other's company. And now one deli is redefining tradition in a completely unique way. One deli called Nouns. What's up, I'm Jack Wilds from the Noun Square, and today we're going to take a quick look at Noun's first IRL brick and mortar, Noun's Deli. <laughs> Hopefully by now you have some understanding of how Noun's Style works, but if you don't, that's okay. We will include links to some great content that can help you along the way. But in short, Nouns is a community-owned brand that makes a positive impact by funding ideas and fostering collaborations. So how'd they get in the deli business? It all started in Prop 254, proposed by Noun 12, from the mind of this guy, 87 Bones. Uh, 142, he, he did a Twitter post and it was just like what he wanted to see in 2023 in Nouns. And it was, one of them was an IRL coffee store. And I was like, I got one of them. The proposal pitched an idea to rebrand or nounify a popular spot in Melbourne, Australia, known as Stan's Deli, with a goal to pilot the first nounish franchising model. And because nouns a CC0, so too the deli would be. That means there's no fee associated with this franchise. Everything would be open source. I mean, this is huge. This type of model could change the narrative in the hospitality industry and give the perfect platform to share Noun's core values. It's like proliferation with a side of fries. And on March 30th, 2023, Prop 254 passed, 215-4, zero against. And the successful Stan's Deli would close for the last time. Some people may say, like, why close a profitable business? But keeping things interesting and, like, mm -hmm. challenging us you know like can can you pull this off was kind of where we were going the rebranded nouns deli officially opened its doors february 1st 2024 to rave reviews and excited customers the redesign blends web 3 and retro digital with a vintage american diner vibe the stainless steel exposed kitchen, black and white checkered flooring, and almost pixel-like tile walls are complemented by a bold red splash in the signage and the iconic noggles. As you're waiting to give your order at a walk-up counter, you can check out and mint rotating deli art from LCD screens by creators like Lambie, who also happens to be the barista. Grab a coffee and enjoy their outdoor seating. I mean, this place has a vibe. See, oftentimes, these types of branded restaurants can feel a bit gimmicky. However, Nouns Deli has both the sizzle and the steak. Their menu plays like a modern take on many American classics, like Chicago Italian beef with au jus, a roast pork sandwich similar to a Cubano, a classic beef patty, American cheeseburger with pickles and onions, and they even have a southern fried chicken sandwich elevated with tarragon butter, yum. As for sides, you have the option of either fries or slaw, and they even sell soft serve ice cream. This menu should definitely leave customers with a positive impression of nouns, but I wanted to know more about how the reception and proliferation has been to the average patron. The thing that I think people are re like resonating with the most with the nouns concept is like the public good. I think that's like the easiest way to wrap people's head around it before they start digging a little deeper. Just talking about the charitable things like the glasses to kids and the school in Africa, you know, everyone, once you start talking about that, everyone's just like, whoa, that's, that's really cool. I think once we sort of educate the community on crypto not being a scam, um, I think the rest will follow, you know, and like, I think we will get builders that are genuinely interested that want to put their own props up. We're not pushing it on you. If you don't want to dive into nouns or Twitter, you still get your delicious, delicious sandwich. Like, but if you do, we're happy to hold your hand and jump in. For those of you already living on chain, Nouns Deli has just collaborated with Tempers, a Nouns Dow OG artist and Chimper founder. Throughout the month of April, for 0 0.0069 ETH, you can mint this collab on Zora. Each mint is a raffle entry for a Chimper's T3 Giga Burger NFT, and Nouns Deli will be serving up exclusive Chimper's Smash Patty Burgers free to both community members all month long. Did somebody say utility? With an awesome staff, incredible menu, and based collaborations, Nouns Deli is trying to bridge communities one hoagie at a time, helping to guide each person through their own unique crypto journey. And I personally am here for it. 
To find out more about what Nouns Deli is doing, make sure to follow them on X at Nouns Deli Melb. And if you like this video and want to support TNS, please consider minting on Zora. Follow us at the Noun Square on X and Farcaster and check out the yellow channel. Until next time, stay nounish and I'm hungry.